So to know your numbers is to know your risk for developing heart disease. The best way to classify this is by disease process. So we look at hypertension, high cholesterol or hyperlipidemia, and diabetes. Those are the numbers that we want to know to determine our risk for developing heart disease. When we're talking about hypertension, the present guidelines say that uh, patients below the age of 60 should have a systolic, that is your top number, less than 140 millimeters mercury and a diastolic less than 90 millimeters mercury. I'm a big fan of checking your blood pressure often. Uh, you certainly get this blood pressure check every time you see your doctor and you ought to see your doctor at least on a yearly basis. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of actually taking your blood pressure at home so obtaining a blood pressure cuff at one of your local drugstores and checking it periodically and looking at your numbers and if you see numbers above those that I've discussed then actually going to your doctor and discussing those numbers, numbers with him or her. Body mass index is a determination of your weight based on height. So um, ideally, we'd like to be below a BMI of 25, okay? Um, anybody above 25 is considered to be mildly obese. Above 30 is moderately, and as you go higher, is severely obese. Of course, that is a uh, risk factor for developing heart disease as well. One thing people don't realize is cholesterol is a natural part of our body. That is, it is involved in many processes in the body regarding metabolism. And so cholesterol in and of itself is not a bad thing. It's called a lipid, okay? It's, it's a fat. So basically, normal cholesterol is okay. It's when your cholesterol gets high that it's, that it's a problem. Blood glucose is basically sugar. It's the sugar in our body, okay? And that's also a natural component of the body involved in metabolism. However, when the blood glucose gets high, you develop a condition called diabetes. And so, uh, if I get a fasting blood glucose above 100, that's actually um, considered to be abnormal. For people who are just discovering that they have hypertension or high cholesterol, the first treatment is actually lifestyle modification. So when it comes to blood pressure, that includes uh, lowering the salt in your diet, exercising, um, uh, and losing weight so they get to your ideal body weight, that is your ideal BMI. There's a very good chance that if you do that, your blood pressure may come into normal and you won't need medical therapy. The same thing goes with cholesterol. A low cholesterol diet, low fat diet will actually bring your cholesterol down and you may not actually need to take medication in that situation. And that reduces your risk. Lifestyle modification definitely does that.